bottle cap necklaces. Okay, so I've got my supplies to make a necklace similar to this one with a kind of a vintage -y image and some um, charms. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a 1 16th inch punch and it's to punch uh, metal so it'll help you make your pendant in the bottle cap. So you'll just punch it like that and then take your jump ring and this one, these are pretty stiff which I like that because then they don't come apart. So I'm going to get my jewelry pliers and just bend it and then I'm going to attach the attach it to the bottle cap and twist it back together. And then you've got your pendant. And then I'm going to grab my images and my punch, punch out the image that I want to use. And we get E6000 glue, and you can use lots of different kinds of glues, but this one works really well. And just put a thin layer in the bottom, try and get it out to all the edges. And then press in the image. Then you can either seal it off with this 3D crystal lacquer, and you can put it in there as thick or as thin as you want and just let it dry. Or I'm going to use an epoxy dot today, and just like a sticker, and it gives it a clear, shiny, nice polished finish. So you just put that in there, just a sticker, and press it down. Then I'm going to take the charm that I picked out and add it to my necklace. And I thought that had a cute little message, time flies, with the clock and the bird flying over it. And then I picked out this antique silver um, ball chain necklace and thought that would go great with it. So there's that one. It's really easy. And it has a little bit more grown-up look to it. So then I'm going to show you there's a lot of easy ways to make kid more like kid-friendly, bright colors, jewelry with the same... The same idea, just the brighter colored bottle caps and some brighter colored charms. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is going to make one for my daughter. I chose this distressed hot pink bottle cap. It's kind of fun. And then I'm going to add a mini cap charm to it with an initial in it. So I've got a couple split rings to make my pendant and the images, an epoxy dot, and the necklace. So I think I'll punch my images first. So I've got my images and my standard cap and my mini cap. press in my image and my mini cap too. These are so cute. Then I'm going to take my punch again and punch the hole for the pendant. And I'll do that in the mini cap too. Just make sure and get it right side up. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and then I'm going to take my split ring tool and I'm going to use split rings because a lot of times with kids, they just the jewelry stays together better. They don't come apart. So I'm going to put it right in between the two coils like that and then turn it sideways. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and put a picture underneath so you can see the detail. And then you're going to turn your cap upside down and just slip the edge on. And then feed the coil onto the bottle cap. So that makes it really easy to add those split rings. So I've got my half inch epoxy dot to finish that off and my one inch to finish off this one. So there you 
there you go. I hope you have fun and there's so many different necklace combinations you can try with all of our different bottle cap colors and our different images. Oh, 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 oh